the Prior of Manawag, the Reverend Fathers, our Honorable Government Officials, brothers and sisters in Christ. The Fiesta of Manawag is always the first Sunday of October. Every seven years, the Fiesta of Manawag falls on the 1st of October. The 1st of October is also the Feast of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, who called herself God's Little Flower and who called the way to heaven the Little Way. So what do St. Therese and the Blessed Virgin Mary tell us today, the 1st of October? The Blessed Virgin Mary described herself as only a lowly servant. And the Blessed Virgin described herself as a handmaid of the Lord. To be called a handmaid is to be called least among the servants in the household. Both of them describe themselves as little, as lowly. But both of them point us to the way to heaven. The Blessed Virgin Mary is not our destination. The Blessed Virgin Mary is only an arrow leading to our destination. And our destination is heaven with God forever. So what is the Virgin Mary, what is St. Therese teaching us about being little, being lowly, being handmade of the Lord? The first is, are you willing, are you ready to be considered insignificant? Are you willing to be taken for granted? Are you willing to be considered too small, not worth the attention of others? Are you willing to be treated without a reserved seat in the church? Are you ready to be treated without any exception to the law? Are you ready to be insignificant? Are you ready to do something good and yet be taken for granted and not be appreciated? Are you willing to be insignificant? It is important to, to remember this because there is beauty in being insignificant. There is beauty in being small. There is beauty in being taken for granted. There is greatness in being little. The second way of littleness, the second way of the handmaid of the Lord is, are you willing to be invisible? Not that you will lose your body and you will be pure spirit. I do not mean that. But are you willing to be invisible in the sense of being hidden, being away from the limelight, because the Lord alone should be in the limelight? Are you willing to be a spotlight pointing to the Lord? rather than be on the stage in the limelight and gaining applause. Are you willing? Are you ready to be invisible? Christ, after the resurrection, always acted hidden. That is why Mary Magdalene mistakenly considered him the gardener. That is why the disciples of Emmaus thought that he was the most ignorant stranger in Jerusalem, not having known what had happened in the city for the past three days. That is why they did not recognize the Lord by the Sea of Galilee. That is why Peter jumped because he was not naked. It is the Lord, the beloved disciple said. Are you willing to be invisible? Are you willing to work hidden? Are you willing to be not even in the supporting cast? but probably among the crew that disappears when the show is over. My dear brothers and sisters, our society, our culture, our social media culture tells you you can be happy when you have many hearts and likes and thumbs up in your Facebook page. 
our culture is turning us into finding our happiness on the likes of people for you. That there is happiness in being popular. There is happiness in being liked by people you don't know. But there is greater happiness in being hidden, in being unknown. Like the Virgin Mary, St. John Paul II asked, Was Mary at the first Eucharist at the Last Supper? Was Mary on, along the way to Calvary? She certainly was. But the Gospels are quiet about that because it did not have to mention Mary because the place of Mary was always hidden behind the stage, beyond the limelight because she was only a spotlight focusing on Jesus only a moon receiving light from the Son who is God Himself. Like St. Catherine of Siena, who after receiving the stigmata, begged the Lord, make the wound disappear so that people will not see the wound, but do not take away the pain of the wounds of the stigmata. Are you willing to discover the value, the power of being hidden, of being invisible? The third is interest in the insignificant. It is preference for those in the margins. Are you willing, are you ready to look for God in such places? St. Therese, looking at the picture of Christ crucified, did not see the nails that everybody noticed did not see the wound on the side that everybody noticed. St. Therese, as a child, saw the trickles of blood from the wounded hand, and she said, nobody is catching the trickles of blood. I should be the one. It is interest in what people take for granted. It is interest in the insignificant. It is interest in the small. Tignan lang natin ngayong hapon. Kung ngayong hapon, fiesta ng manawag, ay dumating po dito si President Marcos, at dumating si Coco Martin, at dumating si Manny Pacquiao, isang sportsman, isang sikat na artista, at isang pinakamalakas na tao sa buong Pilipinas. At kasabay na pumasok ng sportsman, ng artista, at ng pinakamataas na pinuno ng Pilipinas ay si Aling Siling na nagtitinda ng sampagita doon sa labas ng bakod ng manawag. Sino ang unang mapapansin? Yung totoo. Kanino tayo magpapa-autograph? Yung totoo. Kanino ka magpapa-selfie para daladala mo sa bahay? Kapag nakita na natin ang mukha ni Jesus kay Aling Siling, kay Aling Maria na nagtitinda ng sampagita, na nasa gilid-gilid at nagahanap buhay, hindi na tayo malayo sa kaharian ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, the devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag should help us to discover that there is power in being insignificant. Do not be afraid to be taken for granted. Do not get angry when you are ignored. Do not resent it when you are not appreciated because there is greatness in being insignificant. Do not begrudge it when you are hidden and not given the priority. Rejoice in being hidden. Rejoice in being invisible. Rejoice na hindi pinapansin. Rejoice na nasa gilid-gilid. Because such is the little way. Such is the way of the handmaid of the Lord. And may our eyes look at the insignificant things like the trickles of blood from the hand of the Lord, like the insignificant things 
that happen every day but have been taken for granted. Let not familiarity breed contempt in us. Let us never get too familiar with the man on the cross because there are still so many insignificant things there in the story of Jesus that we have not really given pure attention from the purity of our hearts. Come to Our Lady, listen to the voice. Let the voice tell you, come to Jesus, my son. But let the voice of that mother also teach you. There is power in being insignificant. Do not be afraid. There is greatness in being invisible. Do not hesitate. Open your eyes and set your interests on the insignificant and the invisible, the taken for granted, because Jesus is in such people. May our eyes, may our hands, may our minds and our souls, may every fiber in us think and love and talk like Mary and Jesus.